What is up, Ghoul Army? Back at it again with another video. But in today's video, we got ourselves a Burning Shadows Elite Traino. Traino? Why, why am I saying Traino? An Elite Trainer Box featuring the homie Necrozima, which looks absolutely beast like on this cover. I'm glad they chose this Pokemon to be on the Elite Trainer Box because it is absolutely amazing. But look at this box. It's black, it has a nice little color tone to it. Let's take a look at the back real quick, and we get the typical items that come in an Elite Trainer Box, which is eight booster packs, some sleeves, energies, and some other stuff so you can get started on playing the TCG. Then we got Necrozima right here in the front with uh, the actual coloring rather than the outline in the front. So I got this a, a few days early, but for some reason it got shipped on August 2nd rather than the release date. So it's just nothing too crazy, you know, early wise. But if you haven't checked out my most recent video, go ahead and check it out right now because it is the release of a brand new series that i'm starting on this channel which is opening up other tcg products instead of just pokemon but it's going to be every now and then rather than constantly so if you dig other tcg products go ahead and check that out because all those videos are going to be giveaways because i don't collect other tcg products besides pokemon so without further ado let's just get into this burning shadows elite trainer box because i am so excited to get right into it I just want to pull the Ho-Oh cards, the Ho-Oh regular art and the full art, maybe a Charizard, but I'm not too fond of the Charizard art or the Charizard card itself. So let's just get right into this thing and see what we get. So this is the Elite Trainer Box out of the box itself, and here is the little cover thing. It comes with like Ho-Oh, basically the pack arts, all four of them. I believe there's only four, but it, you can like take this apart and make it into like a little poster, which I might do in the future. But for now, we're just going to put it right here just so we can see that this is Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and it is actually happening, the first opening on this channel. So let's go ahead and take a look at the little booklet real quick. It just shows you what kind of cards are in burning shadows and that is the card i want the most which is ho-oh gx because i absolutely love ho-oh let's just flip through this book real quick just to see what we can get we got a salazzle right here i love this pokemon i'm actually using it on my pokemon sun and moon main team then we got tapu finny right there we got some more gx cards let's go ahead and go to the back real quick though this is where all the goodies are we got the full arts right here which i want ho-oh gx full art the most Probably the second one I'd want is uh, Mars Shadow or Darkrai right there, or Necrozima. They're all pretty dope looking right there. And then we have the Hyper Rares or Rainbow Rares. There's like a ton of secret rares in this set. It is absolutely crazy. But we got Full Art Trainers right there. Uh, the Guzma Full Art is absolutely pretty pricey nowadays, but I'm pretty sure it'll drop once you know the prices start kicking in but we got some secret rare trainers right there and secret rare energies which i want the fire because fire is the best i love red i have no idea why i just i just absolutely love it that is the booklet right there and let's actually go ahead and open this up now and see what we get so we got our booster packs right here one two three four five six seven we're missing one where it at though and it is right there. So let's put that right here and let's just get everything out and I'll get back to you guys. Alrighty y'all, so here is the code card for the Elite Trainer Box. We're going to be starting off with that. Let me know what you guys pull in the comments down below. I'm, I know only one person can redeem it. I'm not sure what you get. I think you just get eight booster packs or something like that. I am not too sure, but just let me know what you get in the comments down below. And next up, what we get is our dividers for the Elite Trainer Box. If we ever want to use it for storage or something of that nature, you can probably use this in deck boxes as well which absolutely look pretty, pretty cool. One of the best looking Elite Trainer Boxes thus far. Then we got our GX counter right there with our Poison and Burn. Probably gonna use all these little, you know, extra items for bonuses on my giveaways. So here's some black dye right there, or black dice, I should say. 
and then we got our sleeves which are absolutely amazing i'm probably going to keep these for myself because i'm running out of sleeves all i have is penny sleeves and i need more sturdier sleeves for all my ultra rares and whatnot and then obviously we get our little pack of energy cars you know to start off in playing the tcg we're gonna put that right there and then here are our booster packs right here guys we're gonna save ho -Oh for last because you know good luck and let's just get right into this thing i am absolutely excited to open up burning shadows jeez that was a mouthful but let's just get right into this thing guys and let's hope that we get some decent pulls so let's get it let's get it get it get it i actually got this elite trainer box for i think uh 32 30 i think it was 31 dollars at the time but it was like before uh the first pre-release that's why it was cheap but we got a code card and it is a white code right there i'm not sure if the white code green codes are back in here i'm pretty sure it is because Pokemon salty and doesn't want anybody to have any excitement whatsoever. And my stomach is growling, so if you hear that, I am so sorry. But we got a Tidemo right here, Grass Energy, we got a Wick, Escape Rope, a Buffalant, Electabuzz, and we got a Garvador GX to start things off. Hell yeah, let's get it. Let's get it, guys, let's get it. So the white code, green codes are back in here, which is unfortunate, but we got a Gardevoir GX let's get it we got a marsh shadow for our next pack i'm absolutely pumped now and i'm just hoping for the best i don't want to ruin the surprise so here is the code for the burning shadows right there and let's do one two three four to the front and let's see what we can get we got a stuffle inke duskull i'm glad duskull's in this set i absolutely love duskull oh there goes cutie fly on the floor i'm so sorry you don't deserve to be on this table we got a weakness policy semi sage rotom dex and we got a porygon z holographic let's get it we are two for two right now but we got porygon z i'm surprised they actually reprinted a porygon z card not reprint from a previous set but like made another porygon z card so so far we get a holographic and a gx can we get a full art and a secret rare to complete the pools of all pools which is basically pulling every single rarity there is so here is the next code card for the burning shadows right there and let's see what we get for to the front we got a alolan vulpix they printed another vulpix card i see we got hoot hoot ladyba mudbray horsey grass energy wabafet acerola 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 i think that's how you say your name i have no idea gloom we got a lana right there lena lana La I'm pretty sure it's lena it sounds better lena instead of lana but we got nothing in that pack and we're going to be going to our necrozema pack and hope for the best we're just hoping for the best at this point i was about to toss that code card but here it is guys let me know what you guys pull in the comments down below like i said and if you guys didn't pick up a dark ghoul t-shirt um the trial or the campaign probably ended now but i will be trying to find another another source to sell shirts and probably at a cheaper price and basically where it doesn't go away and it probably lasts for a long time let me know if you guys be interested in that but i will be releasing a brand new t-shirt design very soon that a good friend of mine designed and was okay for us to use it as a basically ghoul army shirt so without further ado let's just keep going into this burning shadows we only got one pool how many packs we got one two we got three packs four including this one let's just see what we get we got a krogunk magikarp meowth wimpod togedemaru electric energy we got a wick lunatone gloom metapod and a dark rye holographic i mean it's not a dark rye gx but it is a hollow let's see dark raid if your pokemon if your opponent has already used their gx attack this attack does 30, 80 more damage that is not too shabby but not everybody uses the gx attacks and they probably don't use it until late into the game because they want to knock out your best pokemon that you have set up which is unfortunate well let's get into the next pack of burning shadows so far we're doing pretty decent i mean we did get one gx and two hollows which is better than nothing i can't really complain but we got a togedemaru right here we got a wimpod and these cards are going all over the place they're like sticking into my hands we got a rylu psychic energy we got a charmeleon which has amazing artwork right there unfortunate the charizard itself does not have decent artwork in my opinion we got a pikachu right here we got a scolipede in the cut with steamroller and poison horn so we got two packs of burning shadows left and they are 
the magnificent Ho-Oh packs, hoping for some good luck from these packs because, you know, Ho-Oh, I praise you and I pray to you every day. You are my savior. And let's go ahead and get into this Burning Shadows booster pack. Second last pack. What can we get? We got a Pikachu in the cut. We got an Esper pants. These damn monkeys are back. These damn monkeys. Why are they bringing them back? We got a Tormenting Spray. What the heck does that do? Choose a random card in your from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals that card. If it's a supporter card, discard it. Dang, that is ruthless right there. But unfortunately, it's random. But we got a Guzma supporter card, which is actually pretty good right there. We got a Mudbray and we got a Butterfree with Bye Bye Heal. Okay. Bye Bye Heal. Bye Bye Butterfree, I should say, because you are just a rare and you're not going to be collected. I'm kidding. But we got last pack of Burning Shadows in this elite trainer box what can we get can we get some last pack magic guys can we get some last pack magic let's see we got a moralil esper duskull oddish mudbray i'm over here going really slow and trying to take my time because i want that last pack magic we got a kiwaii i think i said that name terribly wrong we got a curlia right here and the final card in this opening is Another freaking hollow. God damn, I hate these hollows. Jeez. Why do I keep getting hollows? I mean, we'd still get decent pulls. We got four out of eight pulls. So to round everything up, we got a Garvador GX as our best card. And then we got three hollows featuring Porygon Z, Darkrai, and Palo San. And we also got this Guzma supporter card, which is, I think, at least $2, but it'll probably drop once everything starts rolling in. So all in all, this was an average Elite Trainer Box, in my opinion, but we did get some dope pulls nonetheless, especially this Garvador. Like, look at the attacks. For one energy, you can basically use everything on this card, which is Infinite Force, and this attack does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active active pokemon which is absolutely that's a really good move let's be real that's a really good move and then twilight gx shuffle 10 cards from your discard discard pile into your deck which is very useful once you use up a lot of your cards and you're getting to the end of the game you know you can reuse a whole bunch of cards and then we got secret spring so once during your turn you may attach an energy card from your hand to one of your pokemon that, if you don't tell me that's OP, then something's wrong with you. I'm probably going to be using this Gardevoir because it is absolutely killer. Jeez Louise. But we got all these hollows, so four pulls. I'm pretty satisfied with this Elite Trainer Box because we did get a whole bunch of other things. So I'd say it was worth it for like $30. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys open up any Burning Shadows, what is your best pull thus far? My best pull is Gardevoir GX because this is the first packs of burning shadows we've opened but i do have more on the way so stay tuned for that guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace